what's written on Apollo's temple in Delphi, know thyself, you know, the, the greatest, uh, you know, advice that any of us can take professionally, personally, you know, or with our businesses is to know ourselves. And so obviously looking at this slide on the right half, if you don't have multiple locations of inventory, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. Don't add multiple locations of inventory just to be able to say, I'm doing Omni. Add it for the other right reasons. Do Omni by unifying it, making it efficient. Similar with brick and mortar. If you're only a digital-based company, you're not going to be doing buy online, pick up, and store. However, keep an open mind on that horizon because we're seeing some really cool brands do really cool, innovative things as we're entering you know, 2023, or we've been seeing this past year. Brands that are even exploring with no inventory storefronts, that there's an, you know, a small shop experience where you can try on some sizes or touch and feel the products, but it's actually, there's no inventory for you to take home. You buy, you buy in store and it ships to your home. And this allows an endless aisle of never running out of inventory. Um, and so is Omni for you? I'd say, ask that question, consider it, think outside of the box in those realms um, but definitely understand if you even have the infrastructure when, you know, from the, the enterprise background that I'm coming from of, you know, affording, you know, huge pieces of technology to do this mapping and this integration between the infrastructure points that you might not have today, which is fine. So start where you need to start. Um, but if you have the right components of a, and a fortified brand strategy, should, you should at the very least be exploring omnichannel options for your business.